Massachusetts Attorney General Maury Healey and New England Patriots owner Robert Kraft are launching a joint initiative aimed at educating young people about relationship violence. It's called Game Change, and the idea is to train teachers, coaches, and students in public high schools how to deal with abusive dating relationships among our teens. Connecting Point correspondent Carolee McGrath went to Holyoke High School to talk with Principal Stephen Sullivan and Director of Athletics Melanie Martin to learn how their school got involved in this effort. Game Change is an anti-violence program um, in partnership with the New England Patriots and um, all schools were open to apply. Um, Mel and I both applied separately and we were fortunate enough to be one of 98 schools in Massachusetts um, to be awarded um, as a partner. And this is a partnership with the New England Patriots which is a very big deal, very cool I'm sure for the students as well also with the Attorney General's office um, is Correct. involved. Um, how, um, what kind of things will you be focusing on in this program? Well, in the initial training of the program, two staff members will be trained in um, bystander intervention, recognizing um, signals that we may not see on a daily basis, um, to recognize that there is violence going on in someone's life if you don't see it in front of you. Um, it could be happening outside of the school, and we want to be able to intervene on that, on that part and it'll provide them with a curriculum and tools that we can use to hopefully help our students have safer lives within the city of Holyoke. What kind of scenarios uh, will this deal with in terms of violence? Um, the, the, there's a couple different phases. This is phase one, and phase one is uh, primarily focused on domestic abuse and um, sexual abuse. Okay, and there are, are there other things that you're looking at, you know, as athletic director that, that you've ever seen, or witnessed in your career that concerns you? I think just, you know, being overall to be able to look at physical violence, whether it's uh, teen dating or, or um, domestic violence within the home, um, other types of violence that we might see and the aggression you might see out on the sports field and how we deal with that. Okay, and you're also uh, partnered with the Women's Shelter as well? Yes, Women's Shelter, the Companeros from Holyoke and they will work with us. They've done uh, great programs in the school district before and they will help us uh, as we move forward with this and hopefully within phase two to help us to provide crisis intervention for those who might be victims of violence in their lives and to help them through that process. You know, it's, it's tough to hear that, you know, this is just a reality for so many kids. You know, I'm a mother and, and to think that kids would be struggling with anything like this. How do you feel as a principal that this will help you help those kids who might be in a situation? Yeah, I think for us, I think over the past few years and maybe even longer, we've started to realize that we can't do it alone. Um, we need those partnerships, whether it's Compañeros or um, other outside agencies. We as teachers, as educators, we play a large role in it as far as education and helping students identify the right resources, but we need these partnerships um, in order to really get to the root of the problem. And so that's our goal with, with this, as, in, as is some other partnerships that we've been able to um, have. And what about as athletic director? How important is that sports component? Because let's face it, a lot of kids idolize these sports um, heroes. I'm, I'm sure they, they consider them in sure. uh, many respects. How important is that connection? I think it's going to be very important for us. Um, again, they do idolize them, whether it's the Patriots coming in or the other former a collegiate athletes and professional athletes that they use as the instructors in this program. I think that's going to encourage our students to participate, especially our athletes. Um, I think it's also an opportunity for us to use our athletes who are known leaders within the school and to train them to recognize what's going on in their friends and their peers lives become peer mentors for them and to be able to provide them with the, the social needs um, that our kids would have where they might not feel comfortable coming to an adult but they would come to one of our student peer leaders as a mentor and help them to see what's a healthy relationship and how to create that within their own lives and the second phase of this starts next September are, are you going to apply for that we're, yeah, absolutely. We're hoping to be a part of it. Um, like I said earlier, there were 98 schools that were selected for phase one, and I believe it's 30 schools get um, selected for phase two, and that comes with additional training for our full staff, for a group of about 30 students. Mm -hmm. um, so that would really increase our capacity to, um, you know, affect change, hopefully. And how important do you think that peer component is to have those 30 kids trained and then to kind of have them be leaders in this field. How important do you think that is? I think it's extremely important. I think we see our kids that, that communicate within their own peer groups 
and I think that they will more likely report um, to their friends or ask for assistance and that peer group could then come to the adults that are trained and the staff and feel more comfortable reaching out on behalf of their friends and, and the younger kids that are in the school. And when you talk about sports, sometimes, you know, something pretty benign turns into quite a fight. I, <laughs> I have hockey players in my family, but it, sometimes it, things get out of hand. How, do you, how are you trained currently to de-escalate when, when things happen? Well, all staff members in the school district go through de-escalation training, and I think you just have to reach deep inside and be patient and understanding and try to bring the situation down to a manageable situation. And then we do have our restorative justice program in place um, to help students and staff work through that. Okay, and what's your message um, to kids who, who might be watching this about what your goal is here for this program? Our goal is to, uh, ultimately, is to help students who, whether they're witness to something or experiencing something personally, to let them know that we're here to support them. Um, you know, if, the, if they do or don't have the support at home, they certainly are gonna have the support here, and we wanna make sure that they understand that we're here to help. Um, and to provide resources whenever possible. All right, Stephen Sullivan and Melanie Martin, thank you so much, and good luck with this um, with this new program. Thank you.